we are focusing on care for pregnant women that not everyone is always thinking about, but this is a really big need. We are talking about resources for women who are li living with addiction. Steve Carlton with Porchlight Health is joining us today. Thank you so much for coming in today. This is, this is a big issue because you don't always think about the two in the same realm, but I just wanted to start off with the fact that there are resources specifically for pregnant women right now. Absolutely, and this is an important topic right now because we had some recent data that came out that showed that overdose deaths in pregnant women in particular have gone up over three times. Mm -hmm. so wow. It's, 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 it's big. Can it's you big talk problem. about getting to the resources and what kind of the welcoming nature is of that? Because mm -hmm. I can assume that maybe some women are worried about reaching out because of stigma, and especially if they're also pregnant at the time. The, women are, what we know is women are really worried about the stigma yeah. and the judgment of it. Sure. And, and they should know that the, it, it, it is a welcoming environment. And the other thing that's really important to understand is if you come in seeking help for addiction, you are not going to be reported to Child Protective Services, okay. right? And I think that keeps a lot of women from coming in and, and sure. getting help. That's a huge point right mm -hmm. there. What does that treatment look like? Sure. So with treatment for opiates, we recommend buprenorphine or mm, suboxone, yeah. right? What we know, and, and you are, you're always concerned about the health of the baby, yeah. and anything the mother's ingesting, the baby's ingesting, but what we know is it drastically reduces overdose deaths, okay. and it's actually, it's got a very good safety profile taking okay. suboxone while you're pregnant. It really doesn't harm the baby. Can you talk about the timing of it, depending on where you are in your pregnancy, and what is the best time? I'm assuming earlier, the better. Sooner than later. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the... Biggest predictor of success is days in a recovery environment. And so the sooner you engage and the sooner you start your treatment and stick with it and get consistent, the, yeah. the sooner you're off to a better life. So we're talking about the treatment during the pregnancy, but also that first year after having the baby. Can you talk about the ongoing care that's available? Because that's also a huge transition time. Your, your hormones and your emotions, your sleep deprived, like it, that's a lot. Yeah. Uh, we, we, People need so much support after, right. after having children. Yes. And then you add in sort of addiction and trouble with substances, and, and yeah, you need a lot of help. And again, the more consistent you are, the more you engage in helping relationships and support groups and, and gaining new coping skills, the yeah. better you're gonna do. And that care is there. It's, it's it built is. into it, that oh, continuum. Yes. yes. So for folks who are saying, okay, I'd like to reach out, what is maybe the safest way to take that first step? Mm -hmm. What do you tell them? Sure. Uh, I mean, calling Front Range Clinic 866 sure. Matstat is a great is a great first step. I think you have to find somebody to talk to. Yeah. And I think if you talk to somebody else, like a family member, a trusted friend, they're going to tell you reach out for help. Yeah. Like that. That's the advice you would give anybody else, and that's the same advice you should give yourself. So you said Front Range Clinic. Google it. You can find that number. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah FrontrangeClinics.com or PorchlightHealth.com. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. And, and I think it's a, such an important message that it's it's okay. There's help out there, yeah. and that you don't have to deal with it. You don't have to hide it. You don't have to deal with it on your own. You're not going to get in trouble for yeah. seeking help. Yeah. Right. Quite the opposite. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for yeah. coming by with those My resources. Pleasure. We really appreciate it.